This is The Thriving Dentist Show with Gary Takas, where we help you develop your ideal dental practice. The next question, Gary, is when is the best time to drop PPO plans? You know, um, uh, the, 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 the question has to be answered individually because the best time to drop the PPO plans is when you have done all the preparation in your practice, when you've prepared properly so that when you do finally resign, you are fully prepared. It's, it's kind of like preparing for a long distance race, you know, like a half marathon. You know, you wouldn't just go sign up for a half marathon and show up on race day. You're going to do your preparation. And so it's when you've met all of the checklist, the preparation checklist to successfully go out of network is when it's the best time. Now, you can march through that checklist fairly quickly. Um, it, I've seen it done in four or five months. Uh, when, when we went out of network, we, we took two years because of the sheer number of plans that we had. But you can prepare to go out of network successfully in a fairly short period of time. Now, Naren, I do think we have a window of time uh, right now that we should pay attention to. And the window of time has to do with COVID-19. And I think we've got a talking point right now with our patients that the timeliness, I think that window is going to close at some point. And what I mean by that is that, uh, you know, you've had to invest in a massive amount of, of uh, PPE and all kinds of other safety measures. And the talking point that we have if we go out of network relatively soon, you know, depending on when you're listening to this, if, if, if we can go out of network fairly soon, we have a talking point that, that's going to resonate incredibly with the public. And the talking point is this. Um, you know, Bob, imagine that I'm the dentist and, and Bob is my patient. Bob, I want to share a decision with you uh, that impacts you. And, and before I do that, let me say this, Bob, you, you know, every one of our patients is important to us here at, at Life Smiles Dental Care. And you, Bob, are a very important patient to me. Uh, you see all the things we're doing now to make this a safe environment. And we have determined that if we were to continue to be a contracted provider with your dental insurance, we couldn't provide the level of safety that you've experienced in our office and that we demand. I'm never going to compromise that in any way. So I've made the difficult decision that, that we are going out of network with your insurance company because it's the only way we could ensure that we provide you with the level of safety that I require. Now, here's the good news. Bob, even though we're out of network, you can still come to our office for your care. We will still file your insurance claims. We will still have our insurance coordinator who is going to do everything she possibly can to help you get every dollar of benefit that you have with your dental insurance plan. It's my fondest hope that you appreciate our attention to your safety. You appreciate the quality of care we provide. You appreciate how we continually invest in technology for your benefit. You appreciate the way we treat you like family. You appreciate the individual time and attention we give you. It's my fondest hope that you will continue to come to our office for your care. Now, Naren, I think that window isn't going to be open forever. Yes. And so part of the timing has to do with this talking point still being valid, along with you being fully prepared, fully prepared. One that provides personal, professional, and financial satisfaction. 